Yo, what is up guys? AD here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel. And in today's video, everyone, we are going to be checking out the Ragnarok Season 25 event and testing out our average damage against, of course, the current boss in Kubaba. So as you guys could see her there in her burst costume, she is on the home screen. Of course, she does look amazing. Cannot resist to put her onto the home screen. But yeah, if you guys were wondering, you do obtain the costume from the burst side of the game. I know it's pretty rough, but if you can manage to do it, then you do have the opportunity to obtain this amazing skin. But with that out of the way, let's actually head into the normal Ragnarok event here. And we'll be checking out my team before we do dive into a raid here. And there is the team comp of mine on screen right now for you all to see. So we do have the pretty standard comp. Of course, if you guys did follow my guide, I did previously post here on the channel for the Ragnarok event. We did have a team comp very similar to this one featuring Aura into the team comp instead of Nubi Mona. Now I'm running my Nubi Mona because my Aura is only at plus two and I do have my Nubi at plus six. And honestly, this raid is pretty easy considering the new units has been such a massive boost in Dark Shadow Yuna. Since she has been converted to a supporter, she has been very amazing. Of course, she does have the focus here on the slide skill which has been very helpful and she also does have the crit damage plus here on the tap skill as well for your highest attacker ally and for the rest of the units here pretty standard we do have a white rain pepita of course polar pepita here the amazing and best wood type attacker in the game here without a doubt she is fully ignited plus six for myself and I'm running her on tap and two slides here. As for the gear of Pepita, here it is on screen. Of course, you do want to run a passionate mic on the attackers. And if you don't happen to have a passionate mic, then you can use any other weapon that does have AGL in it. So you do have the increased weak point damage. Very, very helpful for your attacker units. As for the Carta here, I'm using in sister's arms as I don't have the other Carta for Pepita, unfortunately. As for Grilla here, we do have the equips here of the flask as we do want to run the crits onto the supporters. Next up here, Alchemist Gloves, very standard, as well as the bars, Talisman of Solus, and the amazing Shokara, of course, of Showtime on Grilla there as well. As for Citri here, we are running the Devroid camera as I don't have another equipment option that is better for crits. We do have enamel suits here as well as the moon earrings. As you can see, I'm lacking some of the options there. And we do have Showtime here, the prism version. As for Yuna, we're running Flask here on her, as well as the Alchemist gloves. And we are also running the high res headphones, as well as a copy of Showtime here as well for Yuna. As for Newbie Mona here, we're running the Steel Rose. Very basic equipment. You don't need anything too crazy for this event as long as you have decent sustain from your supporters and if you don't happen to have too much of sustainability of course you could always sub in some of the healers such as neptune which is very amazing for ragna break and of course other healers if you do happen to need more of a sustainability for this raid but overall a pretty easy one for myself here in the raid side of the game as most players with pepita are having a good time as for the drive skill order here, we are running the Citri into Grilla and ending off with Yuna. As for the skill orders, as we did just go over, but we'll go over it one more time. We do have Pepita with one tap, two slides. Grilla slide, Citri, one slide, two taps. Same for Yuna and the newbie Mona on slide only. So there is the skill order for all of my units as well as the equipment. Of course, the three ignited units here are Pepita, Citri, as well as newbie Mona. Yuna base on cap and Grilla at plus five. As for the leader skill here, you will want to use Yuna or you could also use Citri as well as another leader skill here, which is good is Pepita. So three leader skills there for you guys to try out. Overall, very, very amazing team comp. I've been one shotting consistently without a doubt. One of the easiest Ragnarok breaks here so far. But yeah, let's dive into the level 30 event and I'll show you guys how the boss run does go here for myself.
All right, everyone, as you can see, we did manage to one shot the raid and very easily we did have over two minutes remaining here on the raid battle as well. So very amazing event here so far. As you can see, we are one shotting it very easily here on the Iraq and the Break events. So overall, a good one here, as you can see. Pepita dealing 11 million damage here, as well as Numi Mona following her in second and Gorilla here in third. As for damage taken, we do have Numi Mona, Heartfelt Citri, as well as Snowfall Gorilla, and HP received in Pepita, Gorilla, and Citri. So overall, very amazing here. The one shot, very, very easy here in this Arachna Break event. Hopefully, moving into the next Arachna Break event, we do have a very easy time as well. But we'll just have to see how the upcoming event does go. But make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you guys are one shotting yourself. Hopefully, you guys are having a good time throughout this Arachna Break event so far, as we do have one coming up yet again after the next narrative dungeon. So, hopefully, you guys are excited for that event. But that'll pretty much do it for today's destiny child video here on the channel everyone make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you guys did enjoy today's video and of course make sure to let me know as well if you guys are interested in seeing my average damage for the ragna break burst side of the game as well and of course make sure to let me know how you guys are doing throughout the ragna break event so far overall my luck has been pretty decent i've pulled some water five star tickets and overall just progressing very well here throughout the raid so far but before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys did enjoy today's destiny child video and of course if you guys haven't yet done so already make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in more destiny child content such as this video here today as well as make sure to check out the links in the description box below to my twitch channel as well as to the other social medias such as my twitter discord server and more but with all of that being said i'll see you all in the next destiny child video as always thank you all so much for watching